In this video, we will look at Mahalanobis distance. Mahalanobis distance is one of the most important concepts in estimation and tracking. So for example, in data association, we need to determine the distance between two possible states. Before I formally introduce Mahalanobis distance, I want to introduce the concept of distance first, just for review. So distance is basically just the length of the vector between two points. For example, if we have a 3D space, x, y, and z, and we have two points, p1 and p2, and we can form a position vector between them, call it d. The coordinate of p1 is just x1, y1, and z1. And the coordinates of p2 is just x2, y2, and z2. And therefore, their distance is just the length of the position vector, and it can be written in this format. But distance is not just for positions. It can also be for other things. For example, for velocities. Consider a 3D space, x, y, and z. And again, we have two points, P1 and P2. Each point has their velocity vector V1 and V2. In this case, we can define their velocity difference, dV, as V2 minus V1. Therefore, their velocity difference or velocity distance is just the inner product of this dv vector. So those are very basic type of distance and they are very easy to understand. And something more complicated is the distance for estimation system. So let's look at an example for the distance between estimates and the measurements. Consider a 2D space, x and y. And we have one estimate at point E. We also have two measurements at the point M1 and M2. We know that the E point is following a normal distribution with covariance equal to p. We also know m1 is following a normal distribution with covariance equal to r1 and m2 is following normal distribution with covariance equal to r2. And the one question we want to answer is which measurement is closer to the estimate? There are two ways of thinking this, but there is really one way is correct. The first way is by crude observation. So let's take a look at the distance between E and M2 and E and M1. We found that the distance between E and M2 is smaller by crude observation. So in this case, we said M2 is closer. Another way is by probabilistic view. So basically, we want to take a look at the three sigma covariance envelope. So for example, here, imagine that the three sigma covariance envelope for E is looking like this. For point M1 is something like this, and the point M2 is something like this. So from the results or from the overlap of those covariance envelope, we can see that the M1 is actually closer or M1 is more possible to be associated with E1. So in this case, we said M1 is closer. From the results, we found that from different point of view, we can have different answers to the question that which point is closer. And one question we have is how to quantify this uh, metric. 
and the answer is just the topic of this video is just Mahalano based distance. So the definition is very simple. So we consider point A with covariance C and point B. And the Mahalano based distance is just given by this quadratic form. Here xb is the position coordinate for point B, which can be an n by 1 vector. Similarly, xk is also an n by 1 vector. So therefore, the transpose of their subtraction is just a 1 by n vector. The dimension of c inverse is also n by n. And again, xb minus xa is an n by 1 vector. So therefore, the result of the product is just a scalar. This is expected because Mahalano base distance is just a scalar distance. For the next, we want to draw some connection with Gaussian distribution. So let's look at the probability density function for a multivariate Gaussian distribution. So it's given in this format. And uh, we can find that this term is just the Mahalano base distance. So therefore, the Mahalano base distance is directly related to Gaussian distribution. So here, I want to give you a tip that f is the probability density, not the probability. So for example, for a normal distribution, we can draw its probability density in this curve. And of course, it has a certain mean. We call it x bar. And uh, we know that the probability is always less than or equal to 1. But however, the probability density can be arbitrarily large or small. So for example, here, the maximum value of the probability density, which occurs at x bar for normal distribution, can be arbitrarily large, as large as 1,000 is possible. But however, the area below this curve is always equal to 1. Mathematically, that means the integral of fx from minus infinity to positive infinity is always equal to 1, even though fx can be arbitrarily large. All right, that's pretty much the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to introduce you the MATLAB program for Mahalano based distance. Please check that out. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Thank you.